Hey guys, it's Ashley and today I'm going to be making a video that I never in a million years thought I'd be making. A lot of stuff has happened in the past week for me and I don't know, you know, if you've been searching me up on YouTube and couldn't find me or you were subscribed to me and were seeing weird videos pop up. Um, I'm here to explain everything and I am also here to warn you about the creepy people on the internet. Um, I don't know if I was just stupid, I probably was because I'm not the most tech smart until now. Like now I pretty much know <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, but obviously it's too late and so I kind of just wanted to do my story and a little run through about what exactly happened with my channel. I hope what happened to me can serve as a wake up call for other creators, other girls out there about the internet, about YouTube, about kind of the dark side. Let's just get right into this video. I first created my channel in 2014 and it was literally just for me to post the silliest videos. My first official public video was a best friend challenge with one of my best friends, Kelly. I was probably around 14 and I was just getting into YouTube watching creators like Alicia Marie, etc. And I loved it. And from the very beginning, since I had an iPod Touch, one of my absolute most favorite things to do was to create iMovies and video stars, and I was obsessed with editing even before I got or even found out about YouTube. Um, so I was always creating, I've always loved it. So eventually I found YouTube and I got my parents permission to be on it. I remember when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I did a little giveaway and that actually had some um, sketchy things happen because somebody posed as the real winner, but I actually found out about the real winner so everything was fine. Um, but that was the first time that I kind of I kind of noticed that I needed to be really careful on the internet. So fast forward, I ended up hitting about 10,000 subscribers, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35. And so I was at 35,000 subscribers when I lost my YouTube channel. This all happened so quickly. It's kind of insane. So I'm going to be showing you exactly the emails I got, the um, notifications I received. So this all started about a week ago on June 3rd. It was my last week of school. And I woke up early, I think it was Monday or Tuesday morning. And I received a email from YouTube support. And this email looks very, very legit. Basically, it says, hello, we received a complaint that there are too many spam videos on your YouTube channel, but you don't have to worry. We'll fix it. Fill in the following information and reply to this email. Otherwise, if your channel is not reviewed by our YouTube team, your channel will be closed. And... I was totally naive and really YouTube has the password to every single channel and if they wanted to get into your channel they could and they wouldn't need you to send them your password. They also inserted links on this email and I did some clicking and um, I think that's what got me is the clicking because when you receive emails like this you should automatically just put them in spam and trash. Um, don't have anything to do with them. And I was clicking around, which I think gave this person access to whatever they wanted to. So another red flag for me, it should have been when I responded, they responded like that, directly back, super fast. And if there's any creators out there, you know that YouTube does not respond back to you. <laughs> um, like that, if at all. This person reviewed my channel, they said everything was alright, I was like, okay, good to go. And right there, I should have changed everything. I should have changed my passwords, I should have changed, um, I should have changed everything. The whole 24 hours passes, my channel's fine, everything's good, I've forgotten about this. Um, but the next morning, I am in class. I went to YouTube Studio, like I did every morning, just to check comments. DMs, um, you know, recent videos just to check up on them, and 
I couldn't get into my feed and I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh, that's weird. Maybe the channel isn't loading. Maybe there's something wrong with the internet. So I go to YouTube and I click on my channel and my channel isn't there. I have zero subscribers, no videos, nothing. So I go to my email and I received a message from Google Business and I don't know how Google Business works, obviously this person did, and I basically got an email that said, you have been changed to the owner of Ashley Lynn. And then right after that I got, an, I got another email which says, you are no longer an owner of Ashley Lynn. So I don't know how this person did it. My emails were fine, my accounts were fine, but somehow whoever this hacker was transferred my channel via Google Business to a whole separate account. I didn't know this at the time, but I froze in my seat. I was like, oh no. And I instantly thought that it had connection with what had happened the morning before. I searched myself up, searched my videos. My videos were still on the internet, um, but my channel was renamed to Rachel Klein's. So I go home early that day, I make some phone calls, I'm trying to figure out what is happening. And this is where mistake number two comes in. Obviously, I am in a very bad emotional state at this point. Um, I'm at home, I'm, I'm an emotional wreck, I've been crying all morning. I was trying to figure out how to get a hold of YouTube and I don't have a manager. I actually messaged Sydney Serena, which is a popular creator here on YouTube, she's one of my friends. And I messaged her and I asked her if she knew of anybody who could help or anything that I could do. She didn't really know, she asked me if I had a manager, but since I wasn't big like she is, I don't have a manager so I didn't really have anybody to help me out so I went on to Google and I googled <laughs> Google's phone number because I couldn't find one from YouTube and this really annoys me and if there is one thing that I could change about YouTube and Google it would be they need to have an email and they need to have a phone number that creators can contact and I think Google does have that but it's very difficult to get a hold of them and for YouTube there's nothing. There wasn't a number I could call, there was no email, and maybe I just couldn't find it, but it was obviously very hard to find because I searched for it for a long time. June 4th was actually a funny day because this day was a day that Google got hacked, and I obviously wasn't aware of that. I typed in Google contacts on the internet, and there was a number to call, right? So I'm like, okay, finally a tangible number. I'm calling this person and this man answers on the other side of the phone. Let's just call this guy Frank. Um, he started asking me for some information, asking me for my cell phone number, some different things just so he could contact me. So I give him some information and he goes, okay, thank you. I will call you when some things are happening with your channel or I get it back. And I was like, okay, great, thank you so much. I have this huge wave of relief, I'm so happy. And later I get a call that day and he didn't get my channel back but he was asking me for more information. And I was like, okay, this is, you know, a little eh, you know. But I didn't really have a bad feeling because he hadn't asked me for super personal things, it was kind of just general things. And the next morning I received a text message from a weird email saying hi dot dot dot. And that freaked me out because I was like, okay, this is weird, this person should have my number, I don't know who they are. So I blocked the number. And then later that morning I get a call from Frank and he is updating me on my channel. I ask him, I pick up the phone, I'm like, hi, Frank, um, how's it going? How's the channel looking? And this is where the red flag goes up. Frank, the Google hacker, who I didn't know was a hacker, he calls me. I pick up the phone, hi, Frank, uh, how are you doing? How's the channel looking? And I'm starting to get a little less hopeful because it's been so long. And this is what Frank tells me. I've watched all of your videos, creepy, 
I really like what you're doing and I hope you continue to make videos, etc. And I'm on the other end of the line going, oh my gosh, like my heart is breaking <laughs> because I'm starting to realize that maybe this guy wasn't really who he says he was. And I was like, okay, so are you going to be able to get my channel back or not? And he goes, well, I don't think so. It will take a lot of time. And he basically said to me, he goes, I think that you should still create YouTube videos. He goes, you should create the videos. You should send them to me so that I can create a channel for you and upload them to YouTube for you so you can get subscribers back. That is not something a normal business person would say. I hung up right there. I blocked the number, blocked his email, I went back onto my email, I changed all my passwords for every single account. Um, but this guy had enough information to know, you know, where I lived, um, my emails, and it was scary and I told this to my parents and they had a little mini freak out as well um, but everything's good I'm safe as of now and I haven't heard from anybody named Frank since um, but all this to say I thought I was getting help and I wasn't and I made some more phone calls I talked with some friends Josh McCon shout out to you he really tried to help me out so many people were trying to help me out I received so many DMS from my subscribers and people were asking me what is happening with your channel so meanwhile while all of this is happening this person renames the channel Rachel Kleins and is uploading a bunch of foreign Chinese content, which I think were probably video clips from Chinese shows um, or Japanese shows, I'm not quite sure. Thankfully, however, my old videos were not all deleted. I actually had the ACT the next morning, but I stayed up till about 1 a.m. downloading all of my YouTube videos off the internet and I am so so thankful that I got to those videos in time. I have every single one of them stored on a hard drive and I think that was the thing that I was so afraid to lose through this whole process. Thank God because yesterday my channel was deleted. It's gone and I don't know if it was because the channel received so many reportings. I don't know if YouTube recognized that it was a spam channel. Um, but it's gone. So, you know, two years of really hard work and growing my channel, literally gone in a week. And I think, I'm receiving so many texts, I'm sorry. So it would be an understatement to say that this experience has not changed me in some way or taught me some things. It has first and foremost taught me about internet safety and I want YouTube creators to know do not trust emails that you get. Do not click on weird emails. Please, 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 please be safe. Ask somebody who is, you know, more knowledgeable than you and that is something that I did not do and I was pretty much an idiot throughout this whole process. I wasn't sure that I was going to get my videos and I mean that's about three years. Imagine losing all of your pictures. It was so heart-wrenching because I had spent so many hours putting together those videos and it has my friends on it. I have watched myself grow up. I can watch myself get my braces off, my brother get his wisdom teeth out and Thank God that I was able to save those videos. I believe everything happens for a reason and I'm not sure why this happened to me right now. And maybe it was just to make this video to warn one person about, you know, the dangers of the internet. These trolls and these evil people who want to steal your hard work are out there. It's crazy. You know, I never, ever, ever thought I'd have to be making this video. I've been getting a lot of DMs asking me if I'm still going to do YouTube. And yes, I plan on still doing YouTube, but this time I'm going to do videos that I really want to do. I wasn't really enjoying what I was creating as much. And I think now, 
losing YouTube, losing my channel has taught me that I really love making videos and doing what I do. And I want to continue doing it, but I want to do it because of the memories that I can, you know, store within YouTube. And it's just a plus to be able to share it with people. And whether I have 10 subscribers, a thousand subscribers, a million subscribers, I'm going to continue making videos because it is what I love. And God, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to cry. Yeah, I. And the community that's been built throughout this whole experience is amazing. I mean, I've met so many people. I've received so many DMs from so many subscribers and even people that I know from school. I mean, hundreds of messages from people just saying how sorry they are and how much my videos meant to them and it means a lot. I really hope I can continue to do that um, in the upcoming years, months, and yeah, so that was my story. My 35,000 subscriber channel got hacked. And right now, I am at 89 subscribers. <laughs> Which is funny and sad at the same time. I love you guys a lot. Thank you for watching. And if you made it this far, you're amazing. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Bye, guys.